Hi everyone and welcome to Creative Chelsea. Today I'm sharing with you my set of cards made with the September 2024 sheet load of cards template created by Alicia of Call Me Craft Al. Every month on the first she creates these great templates which she shares on her YouTube channel for free. You can get your free template from her channel and the link is below in the description. This video is part of a collaboration with other amazing designers, so make sure to see what everyone has created this month. You can use the playlist link or team link list, and that's also in the description box below. So you can jump around and watch them all. If you are new to my channel and want to see more of my videos, click on the link or the subscribe button in the bottom right corner. With the PDF instructions that she provides, you can make 12 mini slim line cards. This is such a fun layout. With this one design, you can choose to have your cards be either a Z fold, fun fold card, or a parcel front card. If you keep the folds loose like this, you can have a Z fold card. And it gets its name because from the top you can see that it looks a little bit like a Z. It's an upside down Z, but. But if you adhere this skinnier section to the middle section like that, so you would adhere it down, then you would get that partial front card. So it's really fun, gives you a lot of options with this month's template. Okay, so here's what my cards look like. That's one version. Let's see, here is kind of the opposite of that version. You can see we have that floral design in the center, and then we have the purple and kind of a teal on each side, but one's on the left, one's on the right. You can see how those are kind of opposites of each other. This pattern paper that I chose to use is in the new September through December Stampin' Up! mini catalog. And if you'd like to get your own copy of this catalog, you can use the link up here in the top right corner to request one from me, and I'll send it to you. The pack of paper that I decided to use is found in the mini catalog, and it is called the Regal Winter yeah, Regal Winter Designer Series paper. And it has these gorgeous colors, the rich regal feeling, and beautiful floral images. And these two pages look to be about the same. One has more red uh, flowers and the other has more purple flowers, but you can tell from the background which one is which. So there are 12 total pieces in this 12 by 12 pack. They are each double sided and you get two of each pattern. And so there's a total of six different patterns. So those are the two floral, like bright, bold florals. The rest of these florals all are more monochromatic. You can kind of see we've got some navy, purple, some yellow, gold, and a red. And then on the opposite side, we have more of these solid patterns here. And what I did is took the darker teal and purple papers and mixed it with the floral arrangement that has the purple flowers. And that is what I used on my cards for today. Gorgeous paper. And it's going to be available along with everything else in this catalog on Wednesday, September 4th. So if there's something you're interested in, you make sure to jump on on Wednesday and get it so that you have it in time, especially as the holidays are approaching. There's some really fun holiday uh, products in that catalog. All right, so another thing that I decided to do, here's another one of my cards, is that her template includes an inside circle right here. And she says that's a great place to write a personal message. What I decided to do was to leave that circle off, especially for this beautiful paper. I wanted this floral pattern paper to really stand out. And so what I can do here is just write my personal message on the blank middle section on that left side. 
Okay, and it will work for either the Z fold or for that partial front. So either one of those works. And here are the two opposites to each other. So I've got the purple center and then the floral is either here on the left or here on the right with that teal on the opposite side. So really, really pretty. Another project that I used, let's see, is, or another product, sorry, that I used is this circle here. This circle comes from the Spotlight on Nature dies. So here are those circle dies. You can see that some of them cut out um, kind of like a little dotted pattern. Some have that embossed ridging that's the one I used, while others also have more of a floral uh, design along the edge. And they come from like big sizes all the way down to small sizes, and you get a variety for all of those sizes. So what I decided to use was just kind of the embossed edging, and then this thank you is actually a greeting that I created on my own. It's an SVG download that can be used in any electronic cutting machine. So if you're interested in getting this download from me, you can request it using the form, and I will link that in the description below. Um, and you can click on that, send me your email, and I will email that off to you. It's only going to be good if you have an electronic cutting machine. So that would be something like a Cricut, a Brothers Scan and Cut, or a Silhouette. It should work in any of those machines. So anyway, it's just a really fun, bold greeting, which works nicely with these uh, regal dark colors. And here's... My last version, this one is the one with the teal in the middle, and you can see how it has, some have the floral on the inside with the purple on the outside, or the purple on the inside with the floral on the outside. And so those are the six different versions, and then of course I made all 12, and so I get an extra one of each of those. And again, you can Adhere that small flap down or leave it open however you want. I love this little mini slimline version. There's going to be perfect cards for me to send out to my customers this coming month um, just as a big thank you for placing an order with me. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed seeing my cards that I made for this month's sheet load of cards. And if you have any questions, you're welcome to reach out. And if you'd like to get more detailed information on the products that I used for these cards, you can visit my blog, creativechelsea.com. Thanks so much for watching. Have a creative day. Bye.